Hello and welcome to the flight test debrief. Today I would like to film this quick note about the physiology of the flight test and the best way to be physically best prepared for your big day. I know flight test is a stressful scenario, but there are a few things you can do in preparation for it, so to make sure it goes as best as you possibly can given the situation. So the first thing known to all pilots, I am safe checklist, illness medication and so on. Make sure you're not feeling sick, that you're not on any meds that may uh, make you uh, less aware, less sharp or slow down your reaction. You shouldn't be even flying, but let alone doing a fly test in those conditions. Make sure you're well rested, that you had enough sleep, goes without saying no partying the night before. I don't think many people would do that anyways, but don't try to study until past midnight, hoping that the last moment you will have something memorized that you didn't study so far. You have spent probably multiple months preparing for this flight test, the last few hours are not going to make the difference. The best thing you can do for yourself is have an early meal, uh, do a little bit of exercise or whatever you're doing in the evening, maybe review your notes, do some preparation, uh, but nothing that would take you too, too much time and stress and then go to bed early so that you can get enough hours of sleep. The last thing you want to be is exhausted when you wake up in the morning and you have to be tested. Drinking water, hydration, extremely important. Don't count on having a sip or two from random water fountains will keep you hydrated. You need to keep track of your hydration and especially on the day of the flight test. So the best uh, way of doing it is what I recommend, just fill in a bottle of water and carry it with you. And know if it's a hot day or if you're flight testing in the afternoon, you probably should be on your second or third bottle of water and it needs to be water. Coffee doesn't count, juices do not count, it has to be water, maybe uh, sugar-free tea or something like that, but water is best, just count on that. Uh, and make sure you have enough if you realize it and if you don't feel like uh, you are thirsty at that moment, but if you realize you didn't drink enough, your body may not react correctly, but uh, drink water anyways, uh, because even if your body doesn't feel thirsty at that moment because you are too stressed and you might not realize that you're thirsty or hungry, which brings me to hungry. You will most likely not have time to have uh, a meal somewhere else to go out and proper time to order and eat so prepare at the very least you should have your sandwich your plan breakfast lunch depends on the day of your flight uh, on the time of your flight test in a day and uh, have your sandwich with you or whatever uh, food you're taking and have a, a couple of granola bars or something that you can use as a snack uh, if you feel you need additional energy, same as with water, you might not be feeling uh, hungry, but you still need that nutrition. Your body is probably burning more calories than usual. And this is the day when you can treat yourself to whatever you might not be letting uh, yourself eat due to a diet or something. Like I, on a day of a flight test, so in a stressful day, I would allow myself maybe an extra chocolate or so because if you reward yourself and make yourself feel better, uh, it will not hurt on the day of the flight test. Trust me, you will burn those calories anyways. Um, clothing, uh, dress and layers. Often enough, uh, we, it's pretty cool in the morning and you dress warmly and then it's hot all of a sudden during the day. And if you don't have layers to take off and you're very hot, I don't want you to have a heat stroke or just being uncomfortable and you will sweat as is on the flight test or make it worse. Um, uh, another thing is to minimize distractions. So any chores that uh, don't need to be done on this day, uh, don't do them on this day, don't do your 
banking no, or sh grocery shopping or anything before the flight test uh, minimize distractions put your phone on silence maybe only take calls from your instructor if it's anything flight test related uh, don't go on social media just don't spend your time on anything unnecessary prior to your flight test don't check your uh, Facebook feed every five minutes while you're preparing your nav log stay focused so put your phone away if that's what it takes uh, delegate postpone focus on the flight test only until the flight test is completed uh, you don't want to be uh, seeing the examiner arriving at the time of the flight test and you still need another half an hour to prepare your nav log that would not be good uh, last one is arrive early if your flight test says at noon you probably should be at the school no later than nine o'clock uh, to do your walk around fuel in the aircraft and map preparation weather package everything nav log it all takes time if your flight test is in the morning some of the preparation can be done the night before like getting the plane ready cleaning the windshield take as much stress out as possible don't come to the school half an hour before your flight test not gonna work so make your flight test as easy as possible on you thinking about the, these easy tips and preparation and good luck in your flight test